we enjoyed the curry that much the other night, we thought we might show you how we made it. All right, so we have been to the butchers and bought some chicken. This is like the key ingredient. This is like a non-fuss curry. We'd normally make one from scratch at home, but... This has all the ingredients. It's got everything in it. It's not like a packet sauce, but it is a little bit of a packet sauce, but... So basically... It's got... There you go, Matt, I'll show you. You've got your spices and your, your dried ingredients there. Yep. You've got your curry paste. Yep. Which is there. And then you've got your tomato base, which is there. But there is pretty good ingredients on the back here or methods and stuff, the way to do it. But we like to do it our own way. And we're going to spice it up a little bit different and add some yep. little extra bits and bobs So we've got to a it. few little bit of extras. So we've got some nice fresh garlic. We're going to chop up an onion, put that in. We have got say, come here. a nice red chilli to go in there. And then this pepper is kind of left over from when we did salad yesterday. So we're going to chop that up and throw that in as well. And then we did put these pedron peppers in the other day. So we are going to finish those off as well because they are just about done and they need eating up and the other thing that we do rather than doing it with rice we put some of these grains in so you put these in a couple of minutes before you've finished at the end but we'll show you that bit when we get there so we've got a fair bit of veg prep we're still going to do the pepper and peppers and we've still got half the chili to do but we're going to add those in later all right matt is about to start the cooking so everything we've been, everything we cook on generally goes on the Cadac Safari Chef 2, which is ideal for us because it fits in the V-dubs beautifully. We don't want something too bulky. We we did like the idea of the bigger one, uh, but everything you can do on the bigger one, you can more or less do on the Safari Chef and it's half the size. So and it's absolutely great little tool. So we're using it in this mode at the minute. So we'll get some butter in there. We'll get a bit of um, sunflower oil as well, so we don't burn. Don't burn the butter too much. Get that in there. All right, to start off, we get the uh, the garlic and the chili in first. Straight in. Straight in there. Let that fry up a little bit. Get it in there with the butter. We don't want to burn the butter too much, so we just... Uh, or the garlic. We just want to fry it up a little bit. So get the aromas out of there. And then we'll go straight in with the onions, straight in with the peppers. And we'll fry those off as well. We'll get those nice and coloured and caramelised. We'll get some colour on them. I know a lot of people say, you know, fry them till the translucent, but for us, when you get that caramelization on there, it adds a different dimension to the curry. So trust me, trust me, just just caramelize them. Get them crispy, because it adds to the flavor. So, as you can see, it is transparent, but there is a the little bit of caramelization on some of them as well, which is just how we like it. So they're not burnt, so it doesn't go bitter but it brings out the sweetness of everything. So once that gets to that stage, on a full, full heat, high heat, get it going. What we do next is we get the spice. We get the spices, the dried spices. I think there's, there's bay leaf, curry leaves. It looks as though there's mustard seeds. There's a dried chili in there. Um, I mean, oh, that, if you could, that just smells amazing. I mean, these things are like two quid. They're like two quid at Tesco's or any supermarket. Um, bit of chicken and you're away and you're going to have a proper tasty meal. And when you're in the van, you want you want like to take up limited, lim, um, as little space as possible in the van. So these little things are ideal. Bit of chicken, bit of this and you're done and you're going to have a tasty meal. So they go in there. We fry them off for a little bit. Make sure you get it all out. There's all that goodness in there. Get as much out as you can. Get it all in there. Fry that off for a little bit. And me being me, as you will know, well, we'll learn to know, that butter is just the best. So plenty more butter in there. And what you'll find as well with our, new, with our videos that we do, 
you know me and Kerry both love cooking we enjoy cooking we very rarely have a bad meal at home we cook everything from fresh everything from scratch locally sourced stuff if we can get it I mean Yorkshire Kerry lives in Yorkshire so it's like you know we can get we can get proper fresh stuff up there so we try and buy as as much from local places as we can and we eat really well and it, we both work really hard we both work silly hours um so there's no excuse to because me and kerry can do it so there's no excuse to be eating out of freezer unless you you really need to i mean this costs nothing so and we're doing it we're doing it in this which is the middle of nowhere absolutely middle of nowhere on a kadak barbecue with literally stuff that ingredients that have probably cost us 10 quid so that's five quid a head there's no excuse for that anybody can do it it takes a little bit of time a little bit of care a little bit of knowledge and you're away so we fried the spices off a little bit and a bit of extra butter a bit of extra oil a, a bit of salt and pepper we'll add some seasoning again in a bit later on but we're going with the chicken now fry the chicken off get that going it will change Everything will start stewing. Hopefully, you keep it on a high heat and it will just fry just to seal that chicken off nicely. Get that, get that in there with all those flavours, with all that oil, with all that butter, with all them spices and caramelised onions and just seal that meat off. All nice and sealed, as you can see. Can you zoom in on that, Kerry? Right, nicely sealed and coated and covered. So next stage, we go in with the, uh, with the curry paste. Um, straight in straight in with a curry paste we'll probably need to just open that we'll get the snap on knife out which is no i'm not advertising but it does come everywhere with me so in with a curry paste make sure you get it all out because that's all goodness right there that's what's going to give you the flavor to your curry along with the spices the dried spices and everything else oops lost a bit there Get all that goodness in there. There we go. Right, so that's in there. And then basically all we do is we stir this in and we fry this off until the oil starts to come back out the curry paste. Make sure everything's coated, the chicken's coated. And you'll notice you turn the heat down a little bit. We don't want to burn everything. And once the oil start coming back out that curry paste, then we can add the tomato base mix. Look at that. It smells amazing. We'll just fry that off for a little bit. And we'll come back to you when we add the next stage. Right. Next stage. Final stage. Basically, we've got this tomato base mix. I think it's still got a little bit of flavour. Like... It's got a little bit of um it's got a little bit of spice in there as well i think so basically what we do with this just straight in straight in look at that that's how you need to get the chicken you need that's where you need it you need it looking like that because that's all flavor get every bit of that out every little bit like i say these are two quid it costs nothing you don't need to buy ones out of a jar. These are, are so much better than the ones out of a jar. It's unbelievably, unbelievable how much better these are than the jarred ones. And it's no extra, well, okay, it might take you a little bit longer to do, but do you know what? You're gonna get a lot more better tasting curry. And this tastes like a homemade one. And generally when we're at home, I don't know whether Kerry's already mentioned, but we make curries from scratch. We never have anything out of a jar, ever because there's no need. You can make something taste so good with a few spices. And it doesn't take any longer than pouring a jar of something in. So, so what we're gonna do now, we'll just add a bit of water in there. Just add a little bit of water in there, just so we can cook everything through, get them spices, get all the flavors mingling, you know, get everything all going together there. And we'll let that simmer down for like 20 minutes or so. Let the chicken cook, tenderize, moisten. 
and then we'll be good to add our grains because these things are unbelievable as well these are these are a little cheap all right see these you can get these for a quid depending on where you go they've got a really long shelf life on them and rather than having to faff around and cook rice while you're here like this who wants to be boiling rice what we actually do once this is cooked we just add that to that let it cook through i'll tell you what you'll see the end result and you you know and there's no faff it's in a packet brilliant right so to wash down our curry which is probably one of my nicest beer well one of my favorite beers that are local again local to me in yorkshire local to Kerry in yorkshire bradfield brewery go check them out they do some more do some amazing beers i'm not this is obviously i'm not getting paid for this it's just i'm showing you what i enjoy drinking these are uh, like limited editions as well they're not limited edition they're seasonal beers so you don't see them very often you do see them on tap around christmas time um we picked these up from a farm shop um so as soon as i seen that they got the belgian blue it was like we're having some of them for our trip so that's what we're going to wash down our curry with yep it was cannon hall farm shop that we went to as well wasn't it yep cannon hall absolutely re totally recommend it be prepared to spend a lot of money when you go in there. <laughs> because <laughs> everything is just so amazing. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth a trip out there if you're local to Yorkshire. Um, yeah, go and check it out. It's absolutely amazing. And it's a good place to walk the dog as well. Um, and yeah, it's great for the kids. So go and check it out. Right. So the last stage, I did say that that was the last stage, but it's not the last stage. It's the last stage of the actual, the recipe packet, what it says on the packet. But we like to do, our, like, put our own little spin on everything. So there is a couple more extra stages. So so at this point, what we're going to do is we've got some, um, I absolutely love Pedron pre fried Pedron peppers. So we've got some of those left over in the cool box that needed using up. So they're going to go straight in. We, we add them at this stage because then you get that little extra bite at the end rather than, than have everything a little bit um, tenderised. When you add these, you get that little bit of a crunch. So you get the freshness as well. So we add those in. We'll add the extra. All the seeds still in there as well. Everything quite in, like that. The seeds the lot. Um, because we're cooking it out. So then we're going to add the last bit of the chilli. That goes in. We'll give that a bit of a stir. I mean, it, it still looks a little bit watery at the moment. Um, it's got to cook down a little bit more. But once we add... Once we have the grain in there, that, that soaks up some of the juice as well. So that'll that'll thicken the sauce up. Uh, I mean, I mean, just look at that. How good, how healthy is that? I mean, look at the vegetables in there. You've got all the spices, the chicken, the fresh veg, you know. And it's all done on the Kadak. It's all done in the middle of nowhere in, in Scotland. And you'll have to forgive me for this, but I don't know whether you can see there's midges everywhere. They're not, there's not, there's not loads, but they are annoying. So it's a lot better to wear this, um, this stupid hairnet or mosquito net thing. I mean, you can't see Kerry, but she's wearing one as well. She looks like a right numpty, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, mine's right over my face right now. <laughs> so we're going to let that cook. So what, what we're going to do now, come back to you with this. But Merchant Gourmet, whatever it's, uh, I don't know. You get it from the supermarket, it's brilliant. Again, we're not getting paid for any of this. This is our first ever cook. Um, there's going to be plenty of more cooks and you'll all see. What tip do you need to give people before they open it? Uh, yeah, the, what you need to do when you open these, uh, rather than just open it and pour it in, you need to give the packet a good squeeze to, to loosen up all the grain in there. Uh, we found this out the other day when we used it. So um, it's just a good tip so you don't make that same mistake we did. So look, once it's all freed off, all right, and these come in all different flavours. I mean, this one's the, um, I, mean, I don't even know what that is. Uh, <laughs> red rice with quinola, simply cooked. So, but the, you can get piri piri one, you can get all different, there's all different flavours, all different spice flavours. So what we do now, we just add that in. And trust me, you think this is crazy and it's, it's a little bit different to cooking, having a curry with rice, but wait till you taste it and wait till you try it and you'll you'll realize actually it's a no-brainer i mean at home we would cook rice but when we're out in the middle of nowhere and we've got limited resources you kind of want one pot stuff to save on washing up to save on getting two cookers out we have got another cooker we have got a cooker in the van but we prefer not to use that especially when we're cooking curry because we don't want the smell we don't want the, the, the lingering smells inside the van 
Um, so whatever we can get away with cooking outside, we will do, unless it's raining. And if it's raining, sometimes we'll get the canopy up. But I, like I said to you, like these midges, they tend to love it. Once you've got the canopy up, they love like hiding underneath and getting tucked away inside and it, they drive you potty. So that's one of the reasons why we've not got the canopy up today. It's not raining, so we don't need it. Just look at that. Just let, see how it thickens up? Look how it's thickened it up. You know, look, just look at that. So we'll let that cook for another, I don't know, say 10, 15 minutes. Just let everything warm through and cook through nicely. Um, and then it'll be ready to serve up. And at the end of the day, we're out camping. There's no mad rush to get anything done. We've got all the time in the world. So why not take advantage of that and crack on and make your own food? But also what we don't want to be doing is spending too long washing up. Because what we won't really want to be doing is sat there in them two chairs drinking our Yorkshire beer. There's some brew dogs on there as well. Do and a Scottish like beer. Right, so we're about there now. Um, I mean, look, that, look how that's thickened up again. Right, so what I like to do, you don't have to. I mean, all you health, healthy people out there will cringe at the amount of butter that's gone into this. But I love my butter so much, it's going in. Um, and this is the stuff I use, this West, West Country butter. It's, oh, dropped it there, it's a bit slippery lot. West Country butter with sea salt. Oh, it's just amazing. Just that on some crackers is just so tasty. But I'm gonna finish this curry off. So we're gonna have a bit more butter going into there. <laughs> and it's gonna make it silky smooth. <laughs> Kerry always cringes at the amount of butter I use, but we've always got two or three packets of butter in the fridge. We are a shadow of a dart. Um, but yeah, so that goes in. Look at that. Look how silky it's made it look. Silky. Look. It's just going to give it that silkiness and that buttery feel. Just finish it off. That's what the French, that's what the French do. Just look at that. So now I'm going to plate up uh, and we're going to take a few photos of it. And then uh, maybe we'll come back to you and just show you a quick video of what it is when it's plated up. 